Hi Pisces, I'm back again with another video for your mid-month. So let's talk about from August 15th through um, the 31st, the 30th or the 31st. Let me look at my calendar. On my calendar, let me see how many days are in August. I, I want to say 31, but I'm not exactly sure. So let me look it up really quick. Uh, yes, yeah, 31 days. Okay, so the 31st. Okay, so I'm just gonna be a quick read. Um, and see what's coming in for my Pisces. Pisces. What messages are there for Pisces for um, August the 15th through the 31st? What message? Quick message, please. What does Pisces have to look forward to? Are there any surprises, pops, pop-ups, anything that Pisces needs to know for August the 15th? Okay, we got the Knight of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. But very um, analytical energy, okay? The reason that he's taking his time is because he's analyzing everything here. All right, so what else we got, okay? Yeah, it's taking somebody a long time to communicate something or you're taking your time to communicate to someone here. I got the Five of Wands and the King of Pentacles and the King of Wands. I got the Queen of Wands. Someone is dealing with the Twin Flame. Um, the King of Pentacles is Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. This is Knight of Pentacles. This is Capricorn's energy as well, too. The Star card. Aquarius's energy. And the Six of Pentacles. You want somebody to give you something because it's been a long time. Will of Fortune in the past, Two of Cups in the future, Pisces. Mm. Three of Wands. Yeah, you've been waiting a long time for, for this. And they're rushing towards you. They're taking a risk and running towards you to come save you, <laughs> okay? And the Ace of Wands, Pisces. Somebody who wasn't ready before looks like they're ready now. Um. Oh, goodness. Okay, why is the Knight of Pentacles here? The Five of Pentacles. This person may have left you feeling abandoned or left out in the cold. Okay. They may have, um, someone could have been having financial issues, but the Five of Pentacles is someone being left out, um, forgotten, abandoned. Okay, so this person may have left you feeling abandoned. Somebody's regretting something that they said here, very much so. The star card. Yes, this is a wish come true. The ace of cups and the star. This is a wish come true. The nine of cups and the star card. Your wish is being granted or this is a wish fulfillment. Something that you want. Something that you think about all the time. Um, either this is a wish fulfillment. I feel like this is something that you're getting. Okay. Why is the Six of Pentacles here? You, yes. Some of you are getting married with the Six of Pentacles and the Hierophant. Taurus is energy. Some of y'all are getting married. Some of y'all are getting a higher level of commitment. We got the Sun card. You're so happy. Oh my gosh. You're so happy. Look at this. The Queen of Cups. You guys' energy and the Ace of Cups. Wow, you're, you're getting a, a commitment here. 
We got the strength card. Leo's energy. But someone gets finally is getting the courage to make a commitment. And I'm getting an apology as well. Three of Swords and the Page of Pentacles. With the Wheel of Fortune here in the past, things were going in your favor. Like you feel like luck is on your side. The universe is on your side. Seven of Wands. Okay, so there was, okay, looking back on the past, okay, Six of Cups is the past energy. Oh, somebody could be a husband, okay? You got the King of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. Could be a father or someone that, um, the King of Cups is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio's energy, but the Ten of Pentacles is family, okay? So this could be, um, someone felt like they had to defend themselves, and stand their ground and beat the odds, go against the odds. But it was against somebody here with the Ten of Pentacles and the King of Cups. Somebody that could be in your family or someone that you were married to or was living with, okay? You made a final decision here. Um, and you decided that you were going to keep your guard up from this person. And I could tell you're very guarded. Because we got your energy as the seven of wands, okay? So your energy is very much so like, you know, I'm not backing down. And things were going in your favor. Why is the two of cups here? The page of swords. We got a spy here. We got some spies. I got the five of wands and the king of pentacles, the chariot, and the six of swords, okay? Um, there is a trip or a long distance trip. I'm not sure if you're going on a trip. Somebody's fine to see if you're going on a trip. Um, but that could be on the, like on your mind. Um, with the emperor, with the male here, someone that's possibly older, maybe you're getting ready to take a trip. Somebody here could be jealous and in competition with the Five of Wands, the King of Pentacles. This person could have some money. This person could be well off financially, could be dealing with a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Why is the Page of Swords here? The Hermit, definitely. Somebody's watching, uh, watching you, watching like your statuses. If you're on social media, um, Somebody's watching you. Hermit Virgo's energy. Why is the hermit here? Yeah, somebody's looking for, like, looking to see if you're single or if you're married or in a long, in a relationship. Somebody's looking. So you got somebody spying on you, Pisces, to see if you're actually single or are you in a relationship? Are you stable? Like, or do you have your? Do you have everything together? Like, we got the tower, okay. So all of a sudden, then we got the Queen of Wands. This could be who's watching you, Queen of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Why is the Three of Wands here? Waiting for some type of truth, or waiting for somebody to contact you. We got you with the Queen of Cups and the Ace of Cups. You're so happy. The Sun. You're so happy. Like, you're really happy trying to contact you. Somebody's trying to contact you. Somebody's trying to contact you either spiritually or, like, I'm getting like you guys are uh, getting ready to get some a call from somebody or a text. Why is the Knight of Swords here? <laughs> Somebody feels like they have to chase you. <laughs> you are the Empress and you got all of these other options with the Seven of Cups. You're the Empress here. Seven of Cups. Somebody is getting like tired of chasing you. They feel like they got to chase you around town. They got to see what you're doing. They spying on you. Like somebody is real just spying on you. Yeah, somebody is like keeping their, like trying to keep you close to them so you can't move on. 
Somebody is trying to keep you close to them so you cannot move on. Somebody feels like you're possibly going to move on to another man that's bigger and better. And I'm just and I'm just saying that because we got this emperor and the five of wands and the king of pentacles. So very much so competition, possibly between an Aries um, or a Virgo Taurus Capricorn. But I'm getting like somebody who's well off, um, possibly owns their own business or has more money. Okay, why is the seven of pentacles here? The emperor, he wanted to show himself again, okay? So you're waiting for the best. Is You're waiting for who's going to be, going to take control, who's going to be the boldest, who's going to show me what they got, okay? Then we got you sitting right here pretty, okay? And once again, the ace of cups and the sun, okay? You possibly are flirting with them with multiple people, okay? Page of cups is very romantic, flirty type energy, um, but somebody's trying to come back, okay? Somebody's from your past is trying to come back in, but you feel like, uh-uh, we closed that chapter, okay? We closed that chapter. I'm getting that. For some of you, like, this is possibly like a water sign, a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. They possibly offer you, like, stability or money. Um, but this person really does love you. They're still in love with you. They're stuck in love with you, okay? And they want, yeah, like they want to come back together. We got the Ten of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Three of Cups, okay? And they may invite you, try to invite you to come together with them or something to that nature, okay? We got the Ace of Wands. Let's see what this is about. This is a new start, okay? A new beginning, very passionate new beginning, and I got the magician and the devil. Ooh, <laughs> I knew that's what it was about. <laughs> I knew that's what it was about. This very much so very hot, steamy sex, okay? This person knows how to reel you back in and get you into their... <laughs> get you to just get you to grasp you, Okay? You gotta be, you gotta be on your on your p's and q's when you with this person, okay? Gosh, cause this person got it, like they got that that magic stick. They got the magic stick. Could be dealing with the Capricorn with the Devil card here, the Magician. I think that is uh, um, I think the Magician is Taurus's energy. Ace of Wands is Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, but definitely the Devil and the Ace of Wands is Aries. They got the magic stick, okay? Mine's the Devil here. <laughs> the King of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Like, they don't, they aren't showing any emo. Okay, we'll see. Look, we got the Knight of Cups. But this person may just have some good sex, but they don't, I feel like they don't offer you anything other than that, okay? The Ten of Swords. Um, and the Queen of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles. Like, I feel like they don't have much to offer but that. Okay, why is the Knight of Cups here? Yeah, see, you don't want to, you're not accepting this option. Like, you don't want this offer. You don't want this offer. Um, the Four of Cups, you're like, uh, no, I got three other cups right here that I could be focusing on. I don't want that cup right there. You keep that. You keep that, because I got other options. I got options. <laughs> you feel me? I got options, boo-boo, and I don't, I don't mind walking away. So they got the stick. They got the touch, but you might hit them up when it's time for that, okay, when you're feeling like that, because I don't feel like this other person, I feel like you got some options, and you, you know, you, you, you're going to go for what's best for you. You're going to pick what's best for you, okay? I'm definitely getting that. Like, you're going to get what's best for you. But this person, someone definitely here has, like, the magic touch. It could be an ex because I do feel like it's some ex energy that's trying to creep back in. And then you got some new offers in front of you. Okay, so y'all let me know what's going on in the conversation. That's juicy, y'all. Y'all let me know what's going on in the conversation. I will chat with y'all later.